Welcome. What is the structural component of the tongue? What is the tongue made up of? The tongue is made up of a skeletal type of muscle that are also referred to as triated muscle. These are called the intrinsic muscles of the tongue. And the fibers of these muscles are seen to run in different directions. The direction by which they run is used to establish their names. We have four of this type of muscle. We have the superior longitudinal muscle, which means that it is superiorly placed, but it is a longitudinal type of muscle. So you see the fibers of these muscles running in this direction. Then you have the inferior longitudinal muscle, which means that it is inferiorly placed, but of course longitudinal. So this is the part by which they also run. Then we have the verticalis, which runs from the superior region of the tongue down to the inferior region of the tongue. And this is the pattern by which they run, running superior, inferiorly. Then we have the transversus muscle. From the name, it runs transversely. So if you try to divide the tongue along the median plane, it runs from the median septum of the tongue down to the lateral margin of the tongue. And this is the pattern by which they run. So you can see that the different fibers are running in different directions and this is used to establish the names of this muscle. So these are called the intrinsic muscles of the tongue and they are four in number. We also have the extrinsic muscle which are the external muscle. These muscles are also four in number and what they do basically is to help hold the tongue in place. So they help to attach or connect the tongue to surrounding structures. This is the apex of the tongue, this is the body and this is the root. The apex and the body of the tongue are highly mobile why the roots are held in place by these muscles that are called the extrinsic muscle. This is to help prevent the tongue from falling out of the oral cavity. This may sound funny, but it is the truth. So it helps to hold the tongue in place. So we have the genuglossus, which means that it connects the tongue with the mandible. And this is the pattern by which they run. We have the ioglossus muscle that helps to connect the tongue with the higher bone. We have the styloglossus muscle, which connects the styloid process of the temporal bone to the tongue. Then we have the palatoglossus muscle, which helps to connect the soft palate with the tongue. The tongue is held in place by these muscles, and these are called the extrinsic muscles. So all in all, we have four by four, which means we have four intrinsic muscles and four extrinsic muscles. For you to get a comprehensive lecture on the tongue, and check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Let's meet in our next lecture class.